Hey everybody, it's Michael from GetFitOver40.com. Contest Peak Week has begun. We're six days out from the West Coast Iron Van City Showdown, and it's getting real, okay? So I just got through this a little bit of a tough weekend, so kind of go play by play what's going on. Uh, it was my friend's 50th birthday, and so we went to Whistler, so I had to be very careful. I had to Enjoy myself, but not enjoy myself too much, not drink too much, not eat too much. Try to get as much exercise as possible without a gym. So a lot of walking up every morning early, about seven in the morning, which is pretty early for me, getting about a three or four mile walk in and just keep it really busy. Uh, trying to get as many walks in, some hiking, just a lot of activity. One day I believe I did 30,000 steps. <laughs> the next day was 20 something thousand steps. So definitely got a lot of activity in and I definitely was careful enough uh, to be just under maintenance on most of the days. Um, so I didn't do any damage, undo all the work I've done up until this point. So now we're, it's Monday and this is peak week and I have five full days of low carb, uh, you know, low calorie, low fat, contest prep days, which I can do a ton in this last week is generally when all the magic kind of happens get in that low carb, low fat, low calorie diet and get the exercise way up and burn a ton of calories. And it just, it just peels you at the last bit there. You just get peeled. So that's, that's the goal. I mean, I'm not far off, right? Things are looking good. So if I can get this peeled even tighter, it'll be, uh, we'll be right where I want to be. That's the goal. So what's going to happen? Well, let's just, I want to talk about something kind of fun here. So you can see my tooth is choked. That happened on the weekend. Well, it actually happened before the weekend, but I glued it back on and it came off while I was eating and I lost it. I have basically a filling there, that uh, a chip that's been filled many times. And so we're gonna get it filled on Wednesday so that I look presentable for the show. And then I'm actually gonna get it capped once and for all get get this chip fixed because it's it happens every couple years or year and a half. It, you know, you'll bite something, it breaks, and then I got to get it filled again. And Dental will only cover that so many times. They've reached their limit, and they're going to put a cap on it, which I got to pay for, but then that'll be final. The other thing I have is I got this little sty in my eye that kind of flared up over the weekend. It was really sore. It's not sore now. I think it's on the way down. Uh, it's not a big deal, but it's just a little bump on my eyelid. I don't really know what it's from. Maybe it's ingrown hair or something. I don't like a little pimple on your eyelid. It just happens. I've had them before. I don't get them very often, but you know, not a great time. I got other things to worry about. I don't need bumps on my eyelids right now, but anyways, a little bit of a mess. Other than that, feeling pretty good. Peak week, what does it mean? It's basically walks in the morning, it's uh, posing in the afternoon, walks in the evening, it's workouts during the day. Uh, you know, I'm gonna burn anywhere from 15,000 to 2,000 calories in exercise, depending on how active I am. And uh, I'll eat about 2,000 calories. So I'm burning anywhere from say 36,000 or 3,600 to 4,000 calories, but only eating about 2,000. So that puts me in a nice deficit, 1,500 to 2,000 calories in the hole each day. That means by basically by the end of Friday, I'll probably have lost at least three pounds more and hopefully almost all fat, uh, which will tighten things up really great. Um, we're in this low carb mode, very little cheating, like next to no cheating, no alcohol, no more real donuts, although I might sneak a Timbit in there every once in a while. You'll see what I'm going to planning on doing is a full day of eating, maybe Tuesday or Thursday or something like that, because pretty much every day this week will look the same with just some small little changes in whether it's fish or chicken or whatever. Um, but the meals will be very similar throughout the day. A lot of them will be identical. Um, and that's going to happen again, Monday to Friday. Um, generally the macros are going to look like about 250 grams of protein, about 50 grams of carbs and about 80 grams of fats. I, I do like a little more fat than some people like I'm used to it. Um, as long as I'm low carb and as long as I'm in my calorie, uh, goal area and, and I'm getting well over 200 grams of protein, then I'm happy. I can add the, a little more fats. I'm fine with that. That might not work for everybody, but it works for me. Um, Saturday is going to be my carb up day. I haven't programmed it in yet. I usually like to wait till like Thursday, Friday, because then I kind of know more what I feel like for carbs, like what I'm craving, and I'll add some of those in, sort of like a treat. It's like Saturday's gonna be the day where I'm just gonna get to eat rice cakes and you know oatmeal and things like maybe some fries for dinner, that kind of stuff. And uh, that'll be a nice day to, to enjoy. And I'll probably eat anywhere from 600 to seven to maybe 800 grams of carbs. I don't know yet, I'll see how I feel, um, because I won't be carving up before that. It's just basically gonna be Saturday one smashed day of carving up 
And that works for me. I did it last year for Popeyes and I, I felt good. I felt like I came in with enough carbs to fill in enough, but not overfill in. Because the problem is, is if you get even near that spilling over stage, you don't spill over yet, but you're not spilling over yet. You'll be full. Your muscles will be full of glycogen and you'll, you'll look full, but you lose detail. The fuller you get, I hate to say it, but your skin, you, you can't avoid filling, putting, adding some more moisture or water in the skin. The more water you shuttle into your body and glycogen you shuttle into your body, body it's going to find any fat that's there and it's going to go there. And there's always going to be a little bit of fat in the skin, a little bit of fat in those areas you don't want to, to, to show. And that's where the glycogen in the water is going to show up even before you spill over. Okay, so the drier you are, the more detailed you're going to look even without spilling over. And I like to be a little on the dry side. I'd, I'd rather be a little drier, less full than full and not as crisp. Just the way, you know, I'm not a big guy, so I'm not going for size, I'm going for detail. And that's that's how I do it. If I got more detail than, than the other guys, then hopefully I can, you know, the judges are gonna appreciate that. They're gonna, it's gonna give the appearance of more size, even though it's not there. I, I just can't outsize these guys. I guarantee you for, phys, for classic physique, I'm gonna probably weigh in 192 to 194 pounds tops. My weight that I can be is 212 at my height. So I'm like 20 pounds under what I can be for my class. And this isn't even pro, like pros could be like 220 at my height or even more. So that gives you an idea of kind of where I'm at compared to these guys. And these guys are gonna weigh in like right at the 212 and they're gonna be dehydrated and they're, they're gonna be like trying not to eat anything all day so that they can weigh in right at 212. They're probably gonna weigh like 220 on stage and I'll be like, if I'm lucky if I'll be 196, 197 on stage carved up. So that's the way it is, that's fine. It's just, you know, I, that's my limit. My limitations. I don't get huge. Uh, getting bigger just doesn't really work for me. So I'll, I'll just play my cards, which are, you know, the detail card, the getting lean, the getting shredded card and see how far I can take that and uh, see what it does for me. So that's pretty much it. Um, you know, this week I'll try and make some, some more videos on different things. For sure, uh, hope to do a full day of eating if you guys want to see that. Um, I don't know what else. Well, maybe maybe I'll get some workout videos in or a little bit of workout videos in if I can. It's a little tough sometimes because, you know, at this point in the game, it's just you're tired. You go to the gym. You're just trying to get it done. Um, you know, I'm not trying to lift heavy or anything like that. I'm just trying to get the work done in the gym. And thought of like setting up cameras and stuff is, is just you just want to get it in and out of there and get your calories burned. So I'll do what I can. No promises there. But it's nice to get some footage in when you're this lean. It looks good. So I'll try and do maybe some stuff if I can. Set up my camera on a little tripod and get a little bit anyways. All right. Thanks for watching another GetFitOver40.com video. Keep posted. Stay with me all along. We'll be There'll be more videos this week than normal. And of course, you know, I'll get as much content as I can for the show. Right? All right. Until next time. Take care. Nice tooth.